Caught me. Mr. President. Governor. You enjoying the play? I am. How about you? Well, we just got here. We were at the Yankee game. We got you know, hung up in traffic. Yeah, I know. Listen, politics aside, and I don't want to make a big deal out of it, but you're probably insulted the church, and you can head it off at the pass if you speak to the Cardinal tonight. Well, I didn't mean to insult anybody. No. You know, it's a baseball game. It's how ordinary Americans... Yeah. No, I don't understand that. The center fielder for the Yankees is an accomplished classical guitarist. People who like baseball can't like books. Are you taking this personally? No. Something horrible happened about an hour ago. C.J. Craig was getting threats, so we put an agent on her. He's a good guy. He was on my detail for a while, and he was in Roslyn. He walked into the middle of an armed robbery and was shot and killed after detaining one of the suspects. Oh. Crime? Boy, I don't know. We should have a great debate, Rob. We owe it to everyone. When I was running as a governor, I didn't know anything. I made them start Bartlett College in my dining room, two hours every morning on foreign affairs and the military. You could do that. How many different ways do you think you're going to find to call me dumb? I wasn't, Ron. But you've turned being unengaged into a zen-like thing, and you shouldn't enjoy it so much as all. And if it appears at times as if I don't like you, that's the only reason why. You're what my friends call a superior son, bitch. You're an academic elitist and a snob. You're uh, Hollywood. You're weak. You're liberal. And you can't be trusted. And if it appears from time to time as if I don't like you, well, those are just a few of the many reasons why. They're playing my song. In the future, if you're wondering, crime, boy, I don't know, is when I decided to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs>